and Matthias are going to join hands to be telling you little, little things that you need to know. Common sense. Because when Matthias always says this, yeah, that's it for Narnia, with the Antichrist. You understand? Me and him now are going to join forces to be telling you little, little things you need to know as a human being that is breathing. You don't have to be daft. Now, let me tell you something about your religion. Your religion... That anema brakataba miracle miracles are all over everywhere in your so-called religion. Is that your religion is barely two thousand years? That your religion was discovered two thousand years ago. That your religion just come on two thousand years ago, and Africans have lived thousands of years before your religion came. Hmm? Igbos have lived approximately 1,450 years before your religion came. Before your so-called 2,000 years old religion came. Igbos are no longer, no longer. Africans are no longer, no longer. Now, my, now, my question is this. Because your God, your religious God told you not to question anything. Because they don't want you to find out the truth. You understand? Because when you begin to question everything, you will find out. You start looking for the truth. You start finding out truths. But they told you, don't question your God. Though. Don't question Igbos, they question God. So that that thing will not happen again. They will go and balafa. They will go and draw lace. Iha meronya meronya merojo onya jimota. Lekwa lekwa lekwa. Ha ba ha iha game. So that that same incident, that same um, that same outrageous something will not happen again. But your own religion, your own 2,000 years old religion told you not to question your God. Not to question his actions. Not to question anything so that you will not find out the truth. Now... If Africans have lived thousands of years before your religion came, Igbos have lived 1,450 years before your religion came, my simple question that, we, that I will want you to go and ask your pastors is this. What was my ancestors serving before your religion came? What were they serving? One. Number two. They... My ancestors who didn't see your religion, who didn't notice your religion, who didn't knew anything about your religion, who died, where are they? Did they go to heaven or hellfire or did the rapture take place? That is my number two question. Go and ask your pastors because they feel like, because they are doing miracles, they are superior. You are not superior. I ask simple questions. So, God, Jordan, Pastor, God, he say, because my my forefathers have lived even before your religion came. Those nanani only in here have Then in the case they are holding the religion, what did they believe on? When some people are talking, they say go back to your roots, go back to it as if they are forcing you to go back to your. No, Matthias is trying to make you understand. Matthias is trying to make you understand that your religion. Now let's come again. Do you know that the gods of our land? The ghost of my ancestors was belittled. That is why I always support Matthias because he found out the truth at an early stage. He started educating you people. You understand? The ghost of my forefathers was belittled by their own God, making my own God, making the gods my forefathers believed. Most of my forefathers who didn't see their religion because they believed on something. There was something they were serving, all of them. They were serving something. Now, they made thou our gods look so small that they put S and call it small gods. And call it small, small gods. That's why they will sing song and call it Now, they made their own god, a bigger god with capital letter. Then my own ancestral gods came with a small letter. There's one who very deceived. They came to deceive us. You understand me? Question everything, no? Question everything. Question everything. Now, your same religious God told you not to serve any other God apart from me. Not to feed or worship any other God apart from me. Don't bow to any other God apart from me. Let me tell you something. Do you know that that your God knew that they were gods? They were gods that will suppress him. They were gods that will challenge him. If there was no gods... That will challenge him. He will not tell you that I'm a jealous God. So therefore, don't serve any other God. Don't believe in any other God apart from me. Don't worship or feed any other God apart from me. So your God do know that. Oh, we wonder wonder they put so much fear in you. They started with the fear not to question your God. They started putting fear in you. Don't serve any 
serve any God apart from me. Don't worship any God apart from me. Your God, your religious God knew that. There was stronger God to get even God a two year and a ballet. He knew that we are stronger gods. That we are it shall come more than we go tibule, we go kubule and a ballet. Yeah, more before his time. That is why he put so much fear and tell you, don't serve any other God. You know your God is a jealous God. What made him a jealous God? Because he knew that other gods has power. And let me tell you the reason why in Igbo land they call it gods. Is because Igbos have too many, many gods. How many more did you teach? How many more na bugo? How many more na gwaria? How many more nke? How many more nke? That is why it's called gods. With a big letter. Don't ever put a small letter to the gods of Igbo land. Because they use that thing to deceive us. Even in our educations. If you write a uh, uh, big god. Big capital letter. And where are you supposed to write small letter G? They will bad you. They will give you. They will not give you any score. They deceived us so much. Now let me tell you something. If there was something like heaven and hell. Why is there still reincarnation? Why are they still reincarnating? Why are my ancestors still reincarnating? Why did our forefathers keep reincarnating? Why Because from Mataya, if there is something like rapture, mm, you know, kata, no, kata, no, kata, 100 people a fool. 100 people fool me, I'm not kidnap or I'm not a fool. Learn to be wise. Question everything. That's your 2,000 years old religion. Religion is not a religion. 2,000 years. It's a religion. 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 Get back in a hand, Amaka. You talk to them anyhow. Even a native doctor is more powerful than you that your 2000 years old religion. A native doctor is more powerful, they are more powerful than than that your 2000 years old religion. Religion of Baron Hono, Barry Church here before Igbos have stayed, they have lived. My forefathers we are so naive when that religion came. They were so gullible. They have not seen white skinned people before. They were deceived. They were convinced. At that era, that is why Ojidia oh, see some people believed on this your 2000 years old religion. Why some people does not believe? That is why on Kuala Lumpago, Loni, Lenon, or Waga, Sigine, Hona, Gruya, this all I am making on that, I don't know, Maya Plaster, no Chi Shinga, her papo. Learn. Matthias, you need Matthias in your daily life. Kona, what to gaze Yoku so that you will begin to ask questions. It may tira go join a ho. It tira gezi boto join a ho so that you will not have strength to question your so-called religion. Then nana nya adrela and haga digide. You understand? Africa have what they serve. So don't tell me Satan asi. There was no Satan. My own ancestral gods are not your Satan. Oh, they are not your Satan because someone are not in here evil and Satan, devil and Satan. My ancestors got away at that time, but they did not have anything like Satan. It's when this your 2,000 years old religion, Satan. Then my gods are now referred as Satan. You people are not sick. Go and ask questions. This is your 2,000 years old religion. They deceived you. They are still deceiving. As in the continuation of the deceiving you know, is so alarming. Omenala. Or whatever religion he believe ro on, understand it. And I your two thousand years old God Berubwa. Atwa ya na rosia gato ya wo wo madoga agwea. Ap akwa ya muaga ko ya wo madoga agwea. Ya na one place. Ya is root weeke because my ancestors we are 